Hi guys, my name is Karol. Welcome to Ads Courses, a YouTube channel where I give you the best performance marketing and web analytics tips and tricks which I acquired during my 9 years of experience. Today I'm gonna show you how to use Google Tag Manager to set up simple but powerful uh, click tracking on your website. This method is uh, very uh, useful for, for people who don't have any IT support or programming knowledge. You can use it to track any clicks on your website, for example, phone number clicks or email clicks. Uh, this method is very easy because it doesn't use any data layer codes. It only uses the built-in variables uh, from Google Tag Manager. But because of this simplicity, it also has a lot of limitations. I'm gonna cover all of that in this video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and follow it back with a powerful like. Okay, so let's start. Okay, before we begin, I want you to download one Chrome web browser extension that will help you a lot while working with Tag Manager. The extension is called Data Slayer. You can find a link to download it in the description of this video. So I have this demo website that I'm gonna work with for the, for the purpose of this tutorial. Now let's get to work. Let's say I want to measure some user activity on this website. For example, clicks on the phone number which is right here and maybe in other sections. We could do this by adding data layer to the code of the website, but let's say that we don't have programming knowledge and we don't have no IT support. No need to worry, so we can do this with built-in variables in Google Tag Manager. So simply open your Google Tag Manager account and go to variables section. And here we have a list all built-in variables. Click on configure right here and here you can mark or unmark all built-in variables. For the purpose of this tutorial we want to make sure that we have checked all the variables from the clicks section. You can also mark other variables for future if you like. So let's close this now and we need to create a trigger. So we need to go to the trigger section and click new. Let's name this trigger. Now click on this box and select all elements from the clicks section. Make sure you have all clicks checked and just click save. Now publish this trigger. You can give it a name. I will skip that now and hit publish. Now click continue. Now let's go back to our workspace and to tag section and click new. Now we're gonna create a tag that will send a custom event to Google Analytics account every time someone clicks or taps on a phone number on your website. So give your tag a name now and click the tag configuration box over here and choose Google Analytics Universal Analytics. Great. Now under the track type, select event. Now we need to name our events. Events are built with category. And under the category, we have the action. And under the event action, we have the event label. So this is the structure of your event. This section is actually quite important because the name of the events that you will choose now will be the names that are displayed in Google Analytics. So the naming and this event structure is important. Once you set up the names and submit your tag to collect the data, if you change the namings, they won't affect the historical data. So if you will change the namings a lot, you can end up with a mess in your events in Google Analytics. You can just name your events as I do. Under the action, just click on this and select click text. And under the label, select page URL. I will explain this in the moment.
Okay, now under the Google Analytics settings, we need to create a Google Analytics settings variable if you don't have it. So click new variable and give it a name. And now you need to place a tracking ID here. You can find it in Google Analytics account under the administration right here and under the property settings. This is your tracking ID. So just copy it and place it right here and you can hit the save button. Okay, before we can set up a trigger to our tag, let's go back to our website. Right click anywhere on your website and click inspect. And if you have a data layer, data slayer extension installed, you will have this card data slayer. You can see some elements in here. These are actually my previews. Okay, so we will see something like this. Now let's find a phone number on this website. You can see it right here and just click on your phone number. And you can see that the data in this section changed. We can see some elements like click text over here. These are actually the built-in variables that we selected in Google Tag Manager before. And you can see a click text variable that shows our phone number when we click on it. This actually works on any other elements on the website, like if we click right over here, the click text will change. If we click on our email, it will also show up as the email. So with this method, you can actually track any other clicks on your website. You can see it right here, right? Okay, but in this video, we are interested in the phone number clicks. So uh, make sure to just copy the phone number from the click text. If you have more than one number on your website, you can uh, also use this method. And I will show you how in a moment. Now let's go back to our Google Tag Manager and click on this triggering section over here. And now on this plus button over here. And we will create our trigger. So let's give it a name. Okay. And click on this configuration box. And now under the click section, select all elements. Now make sure to select some clicks. So the trigger is simply a rule for the tag to run and send the event to Google Analytics. So in this example, we want to run the tag when the click text equals our phone number. So let's select this now. So this is the rule for our trigger and we want it to fire when the click text equals our phone number, right? If you have more phone numbers than one on your website, you can still use this method. Just separate the numbers like this and write your phone number. You can add another one, write it here and just select not equals, but matches reach X. But in this example, we have only one number on our website. So we will leave it just like that and click save. Okay, so you can see that we have our tag configuration right here and we have our triggering uh, rule, which is right here. So our event will have a category which is called phone clicks and under this we will have an event action which will be the phone number, so the click text. If you have more than one phone number on your website, you will see a different event actions which will be your phone numbers. And under them, you will see the page URL so that you will see which page from your website generated the most clicks on the phone numbers. Okay, so now our tag is ready. Let's save it and debug.
To test your tag, just click the preview button, wait for it to refresh and go to your website. And we can close this now and refresh your website. You should see now the Google Tag Manager debug section in the bottom. If you don't, just refresh your website a couple of more times and you should see them. And you can see that there are some tags that I fired on this website and that there are some tags that are not yet fired. And now if we click on our uh, phone number, the tag should fire up. Okay, so I clicked on the phone number and you can see here that our tag fired. If we click on it, we will see more details. And you could see the event category, which is the phone clicks. The action is our phone number and the label is the page path, which is the domain. If you have your phone number placed on different pages, you will see the pages over here. Okay, so our tag is working. Now we can just publish the tag. So we need to leave the preview mode and just click the submit button. Okay, you can name uh, your version so that in future you will know what you have changed in this version. I will skip that for now and hit continue. Okay, so now your tag is live. Now I will show you where you will find these events in Google Analytics if you don't know. So just go to your Google Analytics and under the behavior section, you will find the events section. And here you have the top events. Click on it, wait for it to load, and your events will show up in here. You can see we have our event category. Let's change the dates over here. This is a demo website, so, so it doesn't have uh, a lot of traffic, but you can see some events that are in here. And if you click under the event category, you will see the event action. And if you click on the event action, you can have actually different event actions in here. You will have the event label. And here you have the total events and unique events. So this is the number of events that occur in this time. And this is the unique events that happen from unique users. So once you submit your tag, all the data of events will show up here. And that's it. So this method is recommended for people with basic knowledge, no programming skills and no IT support. Uh, you can also track clicks and other activities using custom data layer that you need to implement on your website first. I will show you that in uh, my other videos. I would actually recommend that you use the data layer option, but if you just want to measure some simple events, the built-in variables will be enough for you. So now you know how to implement the Google Analytics events with Tag Manager by using built-in variables. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and see you in the next episode. Bye!